there are approximately 14 core symbols in GDNT, each representing different geometric characteristics and tolerances. 1. Orthographic drawings, 2. Isometric drawings, 7. Fabrication drawings. The position of feature must be within a 0.8 diametrical tolerance zone at maximum material condition MMC, relative to datum A, B and C. Welcome back to our channel, One Tech Funda. Today, we'll dive into interview questions and answers in the mechanical field. This content is designed to help all engineering, diploma, and ITI students, especially those seeking new job opportunities. What is engineering drawing? Engineering drawing is a two-dimensional representation of three-dimensional object. 2D drawing is necessary for manufacturing any parts. Why engineering drawings are used? Engineering drawings are used to communicate design ideas and technical information to engineers and other professionals throughout the design and development process. What key parameters are typically provided in an engineering drawing? Engineering drawing provides key parameter like shape, size, surface quality, material, tolerance and manufacturing process of the object. What are the main types of engineering drawings? The main types of engineering drawings include 1. Orthographic drawings 2. Isometric drawings 3. Sectional drawings 4. Detail drawings 5. Assembly drawings 6. Schematic drawings 7. Fabrication drawings What tools are essential for technical drawing? T-squares, rulers, compasses, protractors, graph paper, drafting, pencils, erasers, templates, scale rulers and software. These tools collectively enhance accuracy and efficiency in technical drawing tasks. What is the difference between a sketch and a technical drawing? A sketch is a freehand representation that captures ideas quickly and a technical drawing is a detailed and precise depiction of an object or system. Why are accurate measurements crucial in technical drawings? It ensures that parts fit correctly and function as intended. What are ISO and ANSI standards? ISO stands for the International Organization for Standardization, and ANSI stands for the American National Standards Institute. Both organizations set guidelines for technical drawing practices. What is the purpose of a title block? It provides essential information about a drawing. This typically includes the drawing title, scale, date, author, and any relevant project or revision details. The title block helps ensure that anyone reviewing the drawing can quickly understand its context and significance. What are common line types used in drawings? Continuous lines, dashed lines, dotted lines, chain lines, phantom lines, these common line types are used in drawing. These line types help convey different aspects of a design clearly and effectively. How do you represent different materials in a drawing? Different materials in a drawing are typically represented using specific patterns, textures, or hatching styles. Each material may have a unique fill pattern to indicate its type, What is the significance of scale in technical drawings? The significance of scale in technical drawings lies in its ability to represent objects accurately and proportionately. Scale allows designers and engineers to depict larger objects in a manageable size while maintaining the correct proportions. What is dimensioning, and why is it critical? Dimensioning is the process of adding measurements to a technical drawing to specify the size, shape, and location of features. 
It provides clear instructions for manufacturing and assembly. How can you ensure your drawing is properly scaled? First, I choose an appropriate scale based on the size of the object and the drawing space available. I make sure to double-check the dimensions against the original specifications, measuring key features to confirm their accuracy. Finally, I review the drawing against any reference materials or specifications to ensure consistency and correctness. What is tolerance? Tolerance is the total amount a dimension may vary and is the difference between the upper and lower limits. Why tolerance is important? Tolerance is crucial for ensuring parts fit together properly, maintaining product quality, facilitating efficient manufacturing, and preventing assembly issues. It ultimately affects performance and product reliability. What are the different types of tolerances? Unilateral tolerance, bilateral tolerance and limit dimension, these are types of tolerances. What is unilateral tolerance? Unilateral tolerance allows variation in only one direction from the nominal dimension. Example, 10 mm plus 50 micron, 12 mm minus 2 micron. What is bilateral tolerance? Bilateral tolerance permits variation in both directions. Example, 10 mm plus minus 50 micron, 15 mm plus 0.2 mm and minus 0.1 mm. What tools are commonly used to measure tolerances? Vernier calipers, micrometers, dial indicators, coordinate measuring machines, CMMs, and optical comparators. These tools are used to measure tolerances, which help ensure parts meet specified dimensions. What is a fit in engineering? A fit refers to the relationship between two mating parts of components in order to deliver their specific function. What are the main types of fits? Clearance fit, interference fit and transition fit, these are the types of fit. Clearance fit, this means that there is a slight gap between the mating surfaces. Interference fit, it requires parts to be forced together, resulting in a tight fit that provides strong bonding or friction. Transition fit, it falls between clearance and interference fits, allowing for either slight clearance or slight interference depending on the manufacturing variations. How are fits classified? Fits are classified into three categories. Loose fits, designed for easy assembly and movement, clearance. Normal fits, designed for a specific relationship, which may allow for slight clearance or interference. Tight fits, intended for a snug connection with little or no movement, interference. Why is it important to specify fits in engineering drawings? Fits is essential for ensuring proper assembly, function, and performance of parts. It helps prevent issues such as excessive wear, misalignment, and failure of the assembly. How do you determine the appropriate fit for a design? The appropriate fit is determined by considering factors such as the function of the parts, the required movement or play, manufacturing capabilities, and the assembly process. What is a tolerance zone? A tolerance zone is the range of acceptable dimensions for a fit, defined by upper and lower limits. It ensures that parts meet the specified fit requirements while allowing for manufacturing variations. What is the difference between clearance and interference fits? Clearance fits provide a space between parts, allowing for free movement, while interference fits require parts to be forced together, resulting in a tight bond. Clearance fits are typically used for rotating or sliding parts, whereas interference fits are used for securing components. Can you provide an example of a common application for each fit type? Clearance fit used in shaft and hole assemblies where movement is required, like in bearings. Interference fit, 
common in press fit applications, such as fitting gears onto shafts. Transition fit, used in applications where precision is required, such as in high performance machinery. If shaft diameter will be greater than hole size, then what will be the fit? If the shaft diameter is greater than the hole size, the fit is called an interference fit. If shaft diameter will be less than hole size, then what will be the fit? If the shaft diameter is less than the hole size, the fit is called a clearance fit. What is GDNT? GDNT stands for Geometric Dimensioning and Tolerancing. Its purpose is to convey information about the allowable variations in the geometry of a part, ensuring that it fits and functions properly within an assembly. Why is GDNT important in engineering and manufacturing? GDNT provides a clear and concise way to define the allowable limits of variation in a part's features, improving communication between designers and manufacturers, reducing misunderstandings, and ensuring part interchangeability. What are the main symbols used in GDNT? Flatness Straightness Circularity Cylindricity Profile of a line slash surface Orientation Location Runout These are the main symbols used in GDNT. What is a feature control frame in GDNT? A feature control frame is a rectangular box that contains the geometric tolerance, the symbol, and any necessary reference datums. It specifies the type of tolerance and its associated limits. What are datum features? Datum features are reference points, lines, or planes on a part from which measurements are made. They are used to establish a coordinate system for defining the geometry of other features, ensuring consistency in manufacturing and inspection. How many core symbols are there in GDNT? There are approximately 14 core symbols in GDNT, each representing different geometric characteristics and tolerances. Into how many categories is GDNT classified? GDNT is classified into five main categories, 1. Form tolerances, 2. Profile tolerances, 3. Orientation tolerances, 4. Location tolerances, 5. Runout tolerances. Which GDNT symbol required datum? Perpendicularity, angularity, parallelism, position, concentricity, symmetry, circular runout, total runout. These require datum feature. How will you read this feature control frame? The perpendicularity of feature must be within a 0.02 tolerance zone relative to datum A. How will you read this feature control frame? The position of feature must be within a 0.8 diametrical tolerance zone at maximum material condition MMC, relative to datum A, B and C. What is production? Production refers to the process of creating goods and services by transforming inputs, such as raw material, labor and capital, into outputs that are valuable to consumers. The output can be either tangible or intangible. What is manufacturing? Manufacturing is the process of transforming raw materials into finished goods through various methods and techniques. What are the different types of production? Mass production Batch production Job production Continuous production These are the different types of production. What are the different types of manufacturing methods? Casting Forging Forming Joining Machining Assembly molding. These are the different types of manufacturing methods. What is batch production? Batch production involves manufacturing goods in groups or batches. 
A specific quantity of a product is produced before switching to another product type, allowing for flexibility and customization. What is mass production? Mass production refers to the continuous manufacturing of large quantities of standardized products, typically using assembly line techniques. This method focuses on efficiency and high output of identical items. What is difference between production and productivity? Production refers to the overall process of creating goods or services by transforming inputs into outputs. Productivity measures the efficiency of production. It is typically defined as the ratio of outputs to inputs in a given time period, indicating how effectively resources are utilized. Can you provide examples of products produced using batch production? Examples include bakery items like cakes and cookies, custom furniture, and seasonal clothing collections. These are the examples of batch production. Can you provide examples of products produced using mass production? Examples include automobiles, smartphones, and household appliances, where large quantities of identical products are manufactured. Is software development classified as production or manufacturing? Software development is classified as production because it involves creating intangible products rather than physical goods.